Hello student. I'm happy to welcome you again in another lecture of this course industrial wastewater treatment. And today's lesson we are going to continue with 4 R concept of waste minimization. So the first R that is reduction at source we have already discussed in detail. The second R of waste minimization is named as reuse. Now I have already explained you the meaning of term reuse and recycle. So when we apply this concept of reuse to wastewater in industry, it literally means use the wastewater with or without treatment for the same purpose from which it is originated as wastewater. Now you can pause video and think about various ways in which you can reuse this waste in industrial premises or industrial sector. Industrial processes offers so many measures or methods for reuse of wastewater. For example, in textile industry, especially dyeing operation, the wash water resulting from washing of cloth after dyeing, instead of throwing it, it can be reused for preparation of same dye solution for the next batch. Many industry like sugar industry or engineering industry, power plants, huge quantity of water is used for cooling purpose and this cooling is indirect cooling. So the only pollutant present in wastewater is heat energy. So if the water is cooled down through spray pond or cooling towers, then it can be readily reused for cooling purpose once again. Similarly, in industry where steam is used, the steam condensate can be collected and it can be reused for steam generation again. With availability of advanced technology, we can give specific uh, treatment to wastewater that it can meet water quality requirement for a plant reuse. So, this reuse option has lot of scope and with scarcity of availability of fresh water in future this is going to be a very important aspects of waste minimization in industry. The third R is recycle and as I have explained you earlier here instead of using the waste for the same purpose we try to use it for some other purpose. So, when we apply this to wastewater, you can use the wastewater with or without treatment for any other purpose except the purpose from which it has been originated. Now, many times it is 
seen that even with the best available treatment technology, you cannot render such quality to treated wastewater which makes it fit for reuse. And in such cases, recycling has lots of opportunity and recycling also results in waste reduction, hence waste minimization. You can pause video and think about potential of recycling of wastewater in industrial processes. So, various options for recycling of treated wastewater are use it for agricultural or irrigation. Second one, use it for landscape irrigation that is gardening. Then you can recycle it for industrial processes. Many times treated wastewater can be used for toilet flushing which does not require very high uh, quality water. And in areas or region where groundwater table is low, here you can use treated wastewater for groundwater recharge which is also known as replenishing groundwater basin. Again like reuse, water recycling also offers twofold benefits that is resource conservation and financial saving by reducing amount of money spent on fresh water intake. The last R is recover and when I discuss about byproduct recovery as means of strength reduction, we have discussed in detail how beneficial is these measures. So, we can recover either material or energy from waste and this results in economic gain from waste treatment. Sometimes it is possible to recover entire cost of treatment from economic gain of the byproduct. The industrial waste have tremendous potential for byproduct recovery and when we uh, discuss in detail about various industries, we will look into detail of byproduct recovery from each of the industry. So, now we have already discussed about potential of byproduct recovery with examples. I am not going to repeat. So, uh, for sugar industry, if we take example, only in sugar industry, there are several byproduct re recovery possible. You can recover fuel from bagasse, which is solid residue after extraction of sugar cane juice. You can recover compost from pressed mud, which is also a solid fuel or solid material from filtration of juice and you can also recover compost or you can use fly ash for brick manufacturing and cement manufacturing. The source of fly ash is boiler, burning of fuel in boiler. So, it is possible to uh, use it for brick manufacturing or cement manufacturing. And there is one more liquid waste, molasses from sugar industry. This liquid waste is used as raw material 
in distillery. So, industrial processes which generates many waste offers lot of opportunities for byproduct recovery either in form of energy or material and this results in reduction of cost of waste and hence waste minimization. So, I hope you have understood the entire concept of waste minimization well and in the last lecture of this unit 2, we will learn about common affluent treatment plant. So, thanks everyone.